Running a marketing agency, obviously I'm biased on marketing strategies as a growth driver for businesses, but there's often gaps that don't allow marketing to work. For instance, being able to have a steady, strong supply chain of products so that if your marketing works and you have tons of sales and growth to be able to facilitate that, that's been a major challenge over the past several years. Uh, operations, making sure that somebody internally has the systems to be uh, uh, fast and efficient when accepting things like Amazon orders or you know uh, efficient customer service. There's a lot of things that basically stop good marketing from working. And this is the case in so many different industries. The other day I was in a, a, a entrepreneurship group that I'm a part of and we were discussing the gaps in market and there's gaps in all markets. So. Uh, when looking for opportunities, whether it's to grow your own business or start a business or start a, uh, a sort of offshoot uh, sister company or channel in your existing business to drive new revenue, think of the gaps that exist. In a lot of generational kind of family companies, uh, the so-called boring businesses often have times have have a hard time managing the finances, managing the uh, you know automation, the processes, because a lot of things are legacy. You know, uh, receipts are passed down that are handwritten, invoices that are still paper printed. Uh, I see this a lot in companies like landscaping companies. Um, a lot of the processes are not digitized. It's paper receipts, piles, folders, you know, things all over the place, and it's just not efficient. There's so much money wasted on payroll to handle those things, on time to be able to sift through finding receipts. It's, it's a huge gap. And so for these types of companies, there's a real opportunity to build a system that allows these companies to basically load in all of their papers and things like that and have somebody else take care of the organization for them to digitize them and to basically kick back the new processes and new systems. This could literally be a business all by itself. And there are hundreds of thousands of businesses across the United States, let alone across the world, that would happily pay for these services to make their lives a lot easier so they can go back to focusing on what you know, they're really good at. So finding the gap in the market is an incredibly powerful way to grow that doesn't require things like marketing or advertising or investing a lot of money um, you know, to, to, to get that growth. Here's another example, uh, virtual CFO services, fractional CFO services are getting um, really big because basically what they do is they package together all the sort of financial needs of small businesses, accounting, um, invoicing, uh, uh, bill pays, cash flow monitoring, all these different financial activities that normally a CFO and a team of financial people would be in charge of for a larger company, remote CFO or fractional CFO uh, companies just take care of this for one monthly fee. So at the end of the year, you don't have to worry about gathering your stuff together for your accountant. You don't have to worry about every month getting your books reconciled and your invoices uh, collected and, and all of that stuff because a fractional CFO company just comes in and does it. And that was born out of the problem of entrepreneurs like me early on in my career having to handle everything in the company. So the, the, the fractional CFO services sort of were born out of accounting, bo boring, stuffy, kind of legacy type businesses that didn't have a lot of change. And they basically packaged together the most needed regular services and they offered it to growth focused, uh, uh, you know, technology driven companies so that they didn't have to worry about it. And it's highly successful. So point is find the gaps in your market figure out where those biggest the biggest problems are the biggest barriers are and devise a plan some services or even another business to solve those problems you can get paid a lot of money for it and now to finalize this video i'll give you an idea that i'm thinking about again going back to the marketing barriers uh or the barriers to allowing marketing to grow are things like operations things like customer service things like supply chain so what we're thinking of doing is launching either a channel or even another business that basically takes care of all of the things that slow marketing down that businesses can't solve internally with their current team. So we package together things and systems that streamline supply chain, have backup supply sources, 
uh, that build processes into operations to make sure shipments can go out in time, to build processes into, into customer service to make sure that customer service knows how to handle multi-channel, omni-channel uh, customer service touch points from Twitter to Shopify to everything in between. So if we launch this business, we can basically connect the dots to making our business, Good Monster, much more successful because we don't have to worry about our clients being stuck in their own operational efficiencies. So that's an example of what we're thinking of. Think of how you can fill the gaps that are uh, big problem areas in your industry and you can earn a lot of money from that. And as always, if you need help with your performance marketing, check out my agency, Good Monster. We work with clients like Amazon and Toyota, Samsung, Procter & Gamble, challenger brands like Radius and Bayaba to help them drive more ROI from their marketing. And we'd love to do the same for you. If it's a good fit, just have a, head over to our website, thegoodmonster.com and we'll see if it fits.